Okay, so we jump into another problem. Now we are going to calculate a, an integral on differential forms. So let u be a compact manifold of dimension 3 in R3 with boundary u and a two finite volume. Show that the volume of u is the, the volume in its dimension 3, so the volume of u is given by this integral. So it will be the integral of one third of x3 dx1 wedge dx2 plus x2 dx3 wedge dx1 plus x1 dx2 wedge dx3. Okay, so um, first we are going to take this uh, form, okay, so I'm going to call it, um, well, this is one-third, right, so x3 dx1 wedge dx2 plus x2 dx3 wedge dx1 plus x1 dx2 wedge dx3. And now we have to take the, the total derivative or the external derivative of this. Okay? If you guys want to pause the video and try to do it by yourselves. Okay, so I will keep the one-third here. So first let us look at this. I'm going to do I'm going to do only this one. Okay, let us say we have here we have only this one x3 dx1 wedge dx2. So what is the, the external derivative or the total derivative of this? So this would be dx3 uh, the derivative to x1 of x3, right? Plus the derivative of x2 of x3, right, plus the derivative of x3 of x3 dx1 wedge dx2, right? Okay, so the derivative to x1 of x3, bluntly obvious, this one is 0, so this one will be 0, 2, and this one will be, so this will be 1, right? So this will be 1, but we derived this to x3, so that will be dx3 wedge dx1 wedge dx2, okay? So this one is going to be, this one is going to be this, right? And the derivative here will be quite uh, simple. Okay. So one third of the x3 wedge dx1 wedge dx2. That's, that's this one. Plus this one is dx2 wedge dx3 wedge dx1 plus plus, and this one will be dx1 wedge dx2 wedge dx3, okay? So this here will be the exterior derivative or the total derivative. Okay, let us plug it in now. So I'm going to put this here. Um, so the x3 wedge dx1 wedge dx2 plus dx2 wedge 
dx3 wedge dx1 plus dx1 wedge dx2 wedge dx3. Okay. Uh, and now I can say that this is one third of so we have dx3, dx1, dx2. So if we switch those two, we will change the sign, right? But then we have to switch this one again. So we will be changing sign again. Okay, so we'll, we will get a plus here. Okay, so we are going to get dx1, wedge dx2, wedge dx3, right? Okay, plus here um, we have to change this one to this one, this one to this one, this one here, and this one back, right? So we have four, so we will have again a plus sign, right? Okay, so that will be the x1, oh, uh, sorry the x1 um, wedge dx2 wedge dx3 plus plus now here here well it's already in a ordered so what do we have here um, what do we have here we have dw will be 1 plus 1 plus 1, so this will be dx1 wedge dx2 wedge dx3. Okay, here we are. So I can say that, uh, oh, um, this is du, right, here, yeah, very important. Okay, so I can say that um, this will be this one-third of all this will be the same as this, okay? So now we can say that du of one third of x3 dx1 wedge dx2 wedge, uh, not wedge, this one is a plus now, plus, I'm just repeating. So now I can say that the integral over the, the border is the same as the integral over the manifold of dx1 wedge dx2 wedge dx3, right? And this is using, right, Stokes theorem. Okay, so by Stokes' theorem, we can say this. Okay, we still have a problem of the, the orientation, right? We have to check if it preserves the, the orientation. I know this is obvious, but we still have to write it. So we are going to say that x, x1, x2, x3. The parameterization will be x1 will be x1, x2 will be x2, x3 will be x3, right? So the derivative will be, we take the Jacobian, right? So the derivative of x1 will be 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, right? And we get 1, okay? So yes, it does preserve right orientation, okay? It is plus. Okay, so... Now we can say, after all this, that the integral over the manifold of dx1, dx2, dx3, so this is a normal, uh, normal, a, 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 uh, an integral, is the same as the volume of the three dimension of the manifold. So we were asked, we, we were asked to prove that this volume was given by this this integral, right? So let u be a compact manifold of dimension 3, so being compact, right, 
there will be a closed curve, okay, a regular closed curve, right? So let you be a compact manifold of dimension 3 in R3 with boundary, so the boundary will be closed, right? Uh, du and 2 finite volume, okay? Show that this volume, okay, is given by this. And this, obviously, is the, um, the volume, okay? Uh, So we just proved that that integral does give the volume.